Now, the, the, the key that I'm going to share with you right now for, to being able to heal your inner child at a deeper level is one that I know it's easier said than done. But at the same time, it's kind of, it's a fun thing to explore. It's a fun thing to experiment with and, and play with and, and experience. And the idea is to become the most loving person you've ever met. And you start with yourself. You don't need to be that way with others. Become the most loving person you've ever met in your life. Treat yourself better than anyone has ever, ever treated you. Be there for you in ways that no one ever has. Because an important thing to realize on the journey of healing your inner child is that now you have the awareness that no one else will be able to heal this for you. No one else will give you the kind of attention and love that you deep down need from yourself. So realizing that and realizing that we can become the most loving person we've ever met with ourselves is one of the most healing things you can do. There's no limit to how much you can <laughs> love yourself and appreciate yourself and accept yourself the way you are. And that's not an egotistical, narcissistic, cocky way of being. That's the most loving thing we can do for ourselves. The most healing and beautiful things we can do for ourselves. And when you get to a level of like, okay, that, that's too much. Like I'm, 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 I'm going overboard with this thing of loving myself. And that's just when the ego gets uncomfortable <laughs> with that. Because it's unfamiliar to that part of you. It's very unfamiliar to receive so much love, and especially from yourself. So that's the part of you that's uncomfortable with it. You're, you're pushing outside of your comfort zone for that part of you. You're pushing the boundaries for that part of you. Right? Maybe the ego, which there's nothing wrong with the ego. We all have an ego. Can't handle that much love towards ourselves. But think about the soul. That's when you keep going. You tap into that. Your soul will never be like, oh, that, that's too much love. <laughs> that's too much. Right? That's what we are. That's what we are deep inside. Well, that's a much deeper topic, but I just want to invite you to consider the possibility and the idea. And you don't have to do it today. You can keep that in the back of your mind. Maybe in a week, maybe in two weeks, maybe in a month or in three months, it resonates a little more. But consider the idea of becoming the most loving person you've ever met.